Hi y'all, it's Neva from Manic Mama Musings, and how are you? Um, I'm sorry, I still not done my New Year's video. It is coming, but these this will be a short video about a, a swap I did, and then I'll be doing another small video about a challenge I'm doing with another channel that will come after this one. So maybe tomorrow my New Year's video will come, and I also have a Happy Mail video that I have quite a bit of Happy Mail in that I really need to do because I want those people to know I appreciated it. But, anywho, this first video, by the way, I hope y'all had a good New Year's. I don't know if I said that in my last video, but um, this video is, I did a sh swap, that's not a word, well, it might be, but it's not the word I was looking for, swap. Yolanda the Crochet Addict, she had said in one of her videos she would love to do a, a scrap ball swap because she's never done one before. And she was like, and so I thought, well, maybe I'll wait and see if anyone takes her up. And I was like, no, I'll message her. So I did. By the way, I had to search for her scrap balls. I was kind of running out of them. I, I have them, but... Um, I didn't... I Most of them are red heart, and I didn't want to just give her a bunch of red heart scrap balls, so... From now on, I need to just keep saving up my little balls so that when I someone asks me to again, maybe I'll have some cool yarn. Y'all know I don't buy any any of my like nicer yarn. Well, a lot of my nicer yarn I've not used. I had a purpose for it. Then I was like, it's nice and I just want to look at it and touch it for a little while. Anyway, I'm getting distracted. So um, I sent her 30 balls and she sent me 30 balls and it was a whole big oh, poop show. Or as I say, a Neva show. Mm -hmm. um, because, so we sent them on the exact same day. Okay. Now I know that ship, that honestly, stuff coming to New Mexico team seems to take usually a lot longer than it takes for it to get here. Like somebody will send something from Ohio to me and it doesn't take that long. But when I send it out, or no, vice versa. When they send it to me, it seems to take forever. And when I send it out, it gets gone fast. Well, not this time. This time, everything was crazy. So she sent two boxes. She split hers up in two boxes. I smushed mine into one box. But anyway, um, and uh, she sent two boxes. One came. Mine still had not got there. Then, and she kept saying, well, it says both boxes were delivered. And I'm like, it's not here. And I thought, she thinks... I. Just, I get paranoid. Y'all know I have anxiety. So my brain kicks in. She thinks that I'm lying to her and I'm saying that the other one didn't come. And I got all nervous. And then her still hadn't came. And I was like, she's going to think that I didn't. So finally I was like, I searched and searched because I am really bad about losing the receipts. And I find the receipt and I send her the tracking number. That way she knows I sent it. Then finally the second box comes. And I'm like, that's why I don't, I don't trust that when you, it says, when it tells you, you can track something because it doesn't tell the truth. It lies. United States post office service tracking crap lies. It lies, lies, it lies. So it came, I mean, four days later, I think like, and it's going to tell me that both of them know both. Of, and what was the thing was, is I was also worried because it was very windy and you might think, well, but no, here in New Mexico, like for the last three days, like yesterday, I didn't do a video because I had a migraine. It is like 50 mile an hour winds. It's been terrible. So yes, it could have gotten blown off the porch because they don't knock or anything. They just drop it there and go, I'm home all the time. If they would knock, I would go out and get it right away. I just turned it into more than I thought. But anyway, today, no migraine, but I'm very congested. I like woke up with a sore throat and I had a lot of sinus stuff going on. I'm feeling better now, so I really think it was allergies, but I woke up thinking I had a cold, and I was like, no. So anyway, all that to say I got the box. She finally got hers yesterday, I think, and so it took that long. I, I think it took two weeks to get to her. It was stuck in Texas for a week. It kept saying it was in Lubbock, Texas, and I'm like, that's odd. So anyway, I'm going to open my first bag. So this is going to be a video that I do every day of opening. And sometimes I might combine it with another video, but today's is going to be its own thing. And I'll just, um, I'll label it a happy mail video. I don't know. I'll probably put it in my happy mail playlist, but, um, it'll be, you know, um, labeled, uh, yarn swap with Yolanda. Um, oh, it's got a lot of tape on it. 
she taped them good. She didn't let me peek in here. So I waited for her because that was only fair. That That's the way I looked at it. Like, why should I get to see? Because I, she said that she's like one of these people that's anxious. and Yeah, I'm the same way. I, I, I would, a lot of times I kind of don't want LJ to tell me, you know, oh, I got one of your presents or something. Because then I want to search the house for it. Because I want to ruin the surprise for both of us for some reason. I'm the same way with this. Like, it sat on my dresser for forever. That first oh, box, oh, then the second box. And I was like, oh, I told her I'd wait for her. I um, have no idea how hard it is to surprise her. It is. And so I was like, well, she won't know if I look. Yeah, she will. Look at all the tapes she put on it. She'd have known if I fibbed to her. She, Yolanda, you would have known. Because there would have been no tapes. She'd been like, I could have sworn I taped the crud out of that sucker. You did. Okay, so she put them in cute Christmas bags. Mine are in plain brown paper bags, so she's fancy. Thank you, Yolanda. Let's see. Well, I'll show you guys first. Can they see? No, it's pretty dark. Okay. Oh, there we go. I oh, saw it at the end there. It. Yeah, at the end there. Ooh. Okay, let's see. I know what this is, too. This is an I Love This yarn, but I don't remember the name of it. I like, I love this yarn. So, unless Yolanda had a certain blanket she wanted us to make, I have, I should have gotten it out. I need to get my, I don't know if y'all know, I mentioned in one of my videos or something that I was going to make a Roseanne blanket, you know, from the show Roseanne, that Afghan that used to lay on the back of her couch. I was going to make one of those. So I think that I'm going to take these scrap balls and use some of them in that blanket and it might finish it out, which would be wonderful. And unless she had an idea of like a different blanket that she wanted both of us to do, or I don't know exactly what she wanted to do, but I'm already, this is be, oh, it's one that it's the one that's got like, like that, that color in it. And then it's got this teal. Oh, that's pretty. Heck yeah. Or this would make a pretty, um, dice bag too. Hmm. I love yarn. It's squishy, but I'm pretty sure a Roseanne blanket is, and, um, that could be part of the video is I could show you, uh, what I've done on it. I could do like a square a day. I got to find it. I want to finish it. That was like something from my eighties theme that I, I want to continue making eighties stuff. And I just lost track of doing it, but that was something I started last year and didn't finish. There's a lot, by the way, you'll find out I started and didn't finish, but so, this is the first ball, and if I can find, I know the afghan is here somewhere. When I find it, I will put this color into there, because I think that would come out, that'll look nice. Um, so, well, no, I'll wait till Yolanda responds, and then I'll put it in there. But I'm pretty sure that we were just going to swap balls, and she was going to make squares, and I might as well make squares that I can use in something that I'm already making. And if you're just curious, I'm going to link Yolanda down below. But my friend Trisha from Trisha's Creative Treasures, I will link her down below. She is doing a granny square, like you make. <sighs> I'm going to link her down below. And I think she's got a video that talks about it. But I will go back and look and I'll let you know tomorrow if I remember, because I don't remember things, um, to, to let you know um, exactly. But it's like you make... You just make granny squares. And so if you're making granny squares, you can send them on over to her. I think it's only in her Facebook group, but I'm not sure. And it's, I don't remember the hashtag. I'm just a mess, aren't I? But yeah, so um, that this will be perfect for that because I these are new squares. I can put those, I can put them in her thing. So that's cool. So that's the end of this one because right after this one, I'm making another one that happens to do with Trisha. So there you go. So I will see you again here in a few, and I hope that you guys have a really wonderful, well, you'll see me again, but still, I'm wishing you a wonderful night in case I forget in the next one. There you go. Okay, I love y'all.